Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at the isomers of pentane and we're also going to be learning how to name the isomers of pentane using IUPAC nomenclature. Now, before we even get into the isomers of pentane, let's find out what isomers are. Isomers are substances that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. The molecular formula tells us the exact number of atoms of elements in a compound. So isomers would have the exact number of atoms of the same elements. However, these atoms will be arranged differently in space. They will have a different structure. If you haven't watched my video on introduction to hydrocarbon, I highly recommend that you watch that first before we get into this. It will help with the naming. The video link is in the description and also at the corner. So pentane is a 5-carbon alkane. The general formula for alkanes are Cn, H2n plus 2. Again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, watch the video first. Then it will help to make sense. So pentane has 5 carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms. And this is the structure of pentane. This is the structural formula of pentane. This is an isomer of pentane. You can clearly see the difference in the structure. But when you look at the number of atoms, this molecule has 5 carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms. And therefore, it has the same molecular formula as pentane, but it has a different structural formula. And therefore, it is an isomer of pentane. How do we name these molecular compounds? First, we need to look for the longest carbon chain. The longest chain will give us the base name for the compound. And the longest chain is formed by the bonding of carbon atoms with other carbon atoms continuously. This is one possible chain. This is another possible chain. And this is another possible chain. So we have three possible chains here. We take the longest chain and the longest chain consists of four carbons. So we could either use this as the longest chain or this as the longest chain. This is a straight chain and so it's easier to deal with. And so let's use this. The longest chain has four carbon atoms. They're all carbon-carbon single bond and there's no other functional group present. And therefore, we can treat the longest chain as a 4-carbon alkane. Now, the prefix for 4 carbons is but. And therefore, the base name is butane. Next, we need to number the carbon atoms. We can start from either end of the chain. So if we start from the left, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. We can also start from the right. The reason we assign numbering to the carbons in the longest chain is so that we can accurately represent the position of the branches or the functional groups. But in this case, we are not dealing with any other functional groups. So it's for the position of the branches. This here is called a branch. It is attached to the longest chain. When deciding which numbering to go with, we have to see the position of the branch. The branch should be attached to the carbon atom with the lowest possible numbering. So here we have a choice between 2 and 3 and we must choose 2. Therefore, we must use the numbering from the left so we can ignore this numbering. And this numbering will not change. Next is to identify the name of the branch. If the branch is just a simple alkyl group, then we have to look at the number of carbon atoms in the alkyl group. This branch contains only one carbon. The prefix for one carbon is meth. We name the branch by adding YL behind the prefix. So this will become methyl. Next, we have to look at the position of the branch. The branch is attached to carbon number 2. And therefore, the name of this compound will be 2-methylbutane. It is important to realize that these are three-dimensional structures. And therefore, they can be rotated in space. So this molecule and this molecule are exactly the same molecule. This will still be 2-methylbutane. Because this time, when we number the carbons, this will be carbon 2. When we compare 2-methylbutane to propane, we can clearly see that they have different structural formulas but they have exactly the same number of atoms of carbon and hydrogen and therefore they are isomers. Pentane has another isomer. This is the structural formula of the isomer. Again, the first thing we have to do is find the longest chain. These are all the possible chains that can be formed and all of them consist of 3 carbons. So the longest chain will consist of 3 carbons with the absence of any other functional group and all carbon-carbon single bond and therefore the base name would be propane. Next would be the numbering of the carbon. Again the numbering doesn't matter because both branches are attached to carbon number 2 so we can choose either. I'm going to choose the numbering from the left. Now the naming of the branches. 
both branches contain only one carbon and therefore both would be called methyl. One methyl group at the bottom, one methyl group on the top and both are attached to carbon number two. When we have two branches with the same name, we have to add di in front of the name of the branch. So for example, here it would be dimethyl. If there were three methyl groups, then it would be trimethyl. This molecule would be called dimethylpropane, but we still haven't included the position of the branches. So both branches are attached to carbon number two. Therefore, the name of this molecule will be 2,2-dimethylpropane. Even though both branches are attached to the same carbon, we have to mention their position twice. Once again, we can compare the structure of 2,2-dimethylpropane to pentane. They have different structural formulas, but the same molecular formulas, and therefore, they are isomers. Pentane only has two isomers. Now, this molecule may look like it has a different structural arrangement. It is a very common mistake to look at this here as a branch, but it is actually not a branch. It is part of the longest chain. As long as you can form a continuous chain with the carbon beside it, it is not a branch. Just because the carbon is drawn on top or below rather than at the side does not mean it does not belong to the longest chain. So the longest chain is 4. The branch is attached to this carbon so we must choose the numbering starting from this end. The branch has one carbon and is attached to carbon number 2 and so it is 2 methyl and since this is 4 carbon with all single bonds and no other functional group the base name is butane. So this is actually 2 methyl butane. We can also take this as part of the longest chain, like this, and this would be the branch. And notice that we will get the same name. This is carbon number 2 and we have a methyl group attached to carbon number 2. Therefore, it is still 2-methylbutane. Same goes to this structure. This may look like a different molecule, but actually the whole thing forms a single chain. This is actually just pentane. If you'd like me to cover any other isomers, please comment down below and I will try my best to cover it in a new video. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do help me by hitting that like button. It really does help because it tells YouTube that you've enjoyed this video and YouTube will continue to suggest my video to others. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week and I'll see you in the next video.